Leicestershire, shock, promotion hopefuls, Hampshire on the second day of their LV County Championship match at Grace Road by having much the better of proceedings as they took control. Leicestershire began still batting in their first innings on 334 for 8, but to the 11th ball of the morning they lost Matthew Hoggard, who was brilliantly yorked by James Tomlinson. The terrific Tomlinson then had Alex Wyatt taken behind to finish with 5 for 69, the 10th five-wicket haul of his career. That edge also left Shiv Thakur stranded on 85, his best championship score. He made that out of a total of 356, one which had given Leicestershire a chance, having been put in by Jimmy Adams, who now came out to respond with the returning Michael Carberry. The latter dominated an opening partnership of 28 made in the first six overs. Carberry struck 20 of those runs, but then perished when he padded up to an in-swinger from Hoggard. With all of their players available, Hampshire have a formidable top order filled with international experience. Carberry's return to fitness had seen Neil McKenzie drop down to number three, but his run of very good scores looked set to continue as he raced to 17 with four quick boundaries. But he was then surprisingly undone by a straight ball from Wyatt to go LBW at 45 for two. Wyatt was playing in only his fourth match of the season. He now followed up the wicket of McKenzie with the one of Simon Katic, who was somehow held off screen by Thakor to go for a duck. Even with those three big names back in the hutch, Leicestershire still had work to do, especially when faced with Adams, who's been in tremendous form of late. So his wicket, which arrived just after lunch, was huge. Hoggard taking out his middle stump via the inside edge to leave Hampshire in some trouble on 71 for four. Adams departed with 17 runs to his name, and so it was now left to Liam Dawson and Sean Irvine to bat their side back into a game they would have been expecting to do well in at the outset. After all, Leicestershire started at the bottom of the table in this match without a win since their opening game of the summer. But they stayed ahead in this one as the impressive Wyatt now trapped Dawson in front, meaning that half of the Hampshire side were out with three figures yet to be posted. And worse was to follow for the visitors, Michael Bates was bowled by Wayne White for a drawn-out duck. And then, two balls later, White had Chris Wood LBW to now leave the promotion hopefuls on 110 for seven. White was getting the ball to nip back sharply off the pitch, and that also did for Kabir Ali, who was bowled by the all-rounder for seven. Hampshire were now being threatened with a follow-on. David Balcom joined Irvine with a total on 131 for eight, and that follow-on target still 86 runs away. To his credit, Irvine reached a 50. He and Balcom had decided to take the game back to their hosts. They needed to do something. Having just won at the weekend to make them favourites along with Derbyshire to gain promotion, this was not the follow-up performance they were hoping for. In 10 overs, this pair added 50 before Rain took the players off. On their return, Hoggard wrecked the stumps of Balcom, who departed for 31. And then two balls later, the former England man had Tomlinson caught behind to leave Irvine stranded on 58 out of his side's 181 all out. Hoggard, the pick of the bowlers with four for 27, his best return of the season. So Leicestershire had a first innings advantage of 175, but Hoggard decided against asking Hampshire to go in again, choosing instead to bat them completely out of this game. However, once that lead had been increased by 20, Michael Thornley gave Tomlinson his sixth wicket of the match with an edge to McKenzie. His opening partner, Will Jones, didn't last long either. He'd made 13 out of the 23 runs on the board when he pulled Balcom to Irvine. Hoggard may have just started to wonder if he'd made the right decision, how he could have done with a couple of early successes had he enforced a follow-on. As it was, Ramnaresh Sarwan and Ned Eckersley took their side to the close of what has been one of Leicestershire's better days of this summer. They will resume on the third morning on 68 for two with Sarwan on 29 and Eckersley on 14, and that gives them a lead of 243. Hampshire need wickets, and quickly.